बिस्मिल्लाहमान रहीम अल्लामकुम वेलकम टू डॉक्टर स्टाडी टीटोरियल आवर टूडेज टपिक इज अबाउट डेंगी फीवर इट इज द टपिक अफ भाइरोलजी एंड उइ गट ए लट अफ क्वेश्चन फ्रम दिस टपिक इन आवर भाइवा एक्सामेशन सो लेट स्टार्ट उइ अल नो दैट डेंगी भाइरस कॉजेज डेंगी फीवर उइ अल्सो कॉल्ड ए break bone fever because the virus causes most of the time a lot of pain in the joints of our body so it is called break bone fever and the patient come to us with the symptoms of pain it is a flavi virus there are four serotypes they are den v1 den v2 den v3 and den v4 it is a viva question the vector is female mosquito aedes aegypti they often start during the rainy season the characteristic of aedes mosquito one distinct physical feature the black and white strip on its body and legs bites during the daytime lays its egg in clean segment water here we can see the picture of aedes aegypti mosquito the clinical disease begin 2 to 7 days after an infected mosquito bite the onset of fever may be sudden or there may be prodromal symptoms of malaise chills and headache pain develop especially in the back joint muscle and eyeballs characterized by the fever muscle and joint pain lymph adenopathy and the rash a severe form of the disease dengue hemorrhagic fever or dengue shock syndrome principally affect the children classic dengue fever is a self limited disease a severe symptom dengue hemorrhagic fever and the dengue shock syndrome a more severe form of the disease characterized by the shock and the hemoconcentration this two topic is very important for our viva we have to know elaborate of this two topic that was dengue hemorrhagic fever and dengue shock syndrome the dengue hemorrhagic fever and the dengue shock syndrome occur individuals with pre-existing non-neutralizing heterozygous dengue antibody due to the previous infection with a different serotype of the virus immune complexes of the virus and the antibody are formed that active complement causing increased vascular permeability and thrombocytopenia और तर डेंगू हेमोरेजिक फिवर और डेंगू शक सिनड्रोम मूलत को व्यक्ति तक है जो को पूर्व डेंगू भाइर द्वारा आक्रांत हो बडी एक एंटीबडी थे से पूर्व सरोटाइप द्वारा जो आक्रांत होरसर एगेंस्टे अन्टीबडी थे से नष्ट जो ना हो बडी प्रेजेंट थे वो व्यक्ति जो बर्तमान भिन्न एक सरोटाइप द्वारा आक्रांत हो तक जे इम्यून रेसपन्सा थे बडी से पूर्व एंटीबडी मिले कम्प्लीमेंट के अक्टिवेट कर जार कारण वास्कुलार पार्मिबिलिटी बेड़े जाए थ्रोम्बोसाइटोपेनिया और थ्रोम्बोसाइटोपेनिया मान प्लाटिलेट काउंटार कमे जावा and increase the secretion of the cytokine vasoactive mediators and prostaglandin leading to disseminated intravascular coagulation ebong sathe secretion cytokine secretion ta increase hobe shekhan theke prostaglandin ebong vasoactive mediators gulo release hote thakbe je gulo disseminated intravascular coagulation korbe er jonno muloto dengue hemorrhagic ebong dengue shock syndrome hoy thake और ये हमारे प्रफर भाव खूब बस जिज्ञासा कर द्लसिफिकेशन अब द डेंगू दे आर एक्चुअलि फोर डेंगू क्लिनिकल सिनड्रोम आनडिफारेटेड फिवर क्लसिकल क्लसिक डेंगू फिवर डेंगू हेमोरेजिक फिवर एंड डेंगू शक सिनड्रोम डेंगू शक सिनड्रोम इज एक्चुअलि ए सीभियर फर्म अफ डेंगू हेमोरेजिक फिवर नाउ द फेजेस 
the course of infection is divided into three phases febrile phase critical phase and recovery phase in febrile phase high fever often over 40 degree centigrade or 104 degree fahrenheit by phasic in nature breaking and then returning for one or two days generalized pain headache usually lasts two to seven days rashes occur first or second days of the symptoms as flushed skin or later in course of illness days four to seven as measles like rash the next one is critical phase a critical phase which follows the resolution of the high fever and typically lasts one or two days during this phase there may be significant fluid accumulation in the chest abdominal cavity due to increased capillary permeability and leakage this leads to depletion of the fluid from the circulation and decrease the blood supply to the vital organ organ dysfunction and severe bleeding typically from the gastrointestinal tract shock dengue shock syndrome and hemorrhage dengue hemorrhagic fever occur less than 5% of the all cases of the dengue however those who have previously been infected with the serotypes of the dengue virus secondary infection are at increased risk অর্থাৎ যাদের পূর্বে কোনো সেরোটাইপ দ্বারা ডেঙ্গু ভাইরাস হয়েছে তাতে সেকেন্ডারি ইনফেকশন হওয়ার চান্সটা আরও বেড়ে যায় এবং সেকেন্ডারি ইনফেকশনের মাধ্যমে আমাদের মূলত ডেঙ্গু শক সিনড্রোম অথবা ডেঙ্গু হেমোরেজিক ফিভার হয়ে থাকে যা আমরা পূর্বে করে নিলাম আশা করি তোমরা বুঝতে পেরেছ দি থার্ড ওয়ান ইজ রিকভারি ফিজ রিজর্পশন অফ দ্য লিফ্ট ফ্লুইড ইন টু দ্য ব্লাড স্টিম This usually lasts two or three days, severe itching and a slow heart rate. During this stage, a fluid overload state may occur. If it affects the brain, it may cause a reduced level of consciousness and seizures. Then the most important topic for Viva is dengue hemorrhagic fever. Dengue hemorrhagic fever is much more severe disease with fatality rate 10%. The initial picture is the same as classic dengue, but then shock and hemorrhage, especially into the GI tract and skin, develop. The next one is dengue hemorrhagic shock syndrome. is due to the production of large amount of cross reaction antibody at the same time of the secondary dengue infection the pathogenesis is as follow the patient recover from the classic dengue caused by one of the four serotypes and the antibody against the serotype is produced when the patient is infected with another serotype of the dengue virus large amount of cross reaction antibody to the first serotype are produced there are two no, hypotheses about what happened next one is that immune complexes composed of virus and the antibody are formed that active complement causing increased vascular permeability and thrombocytopenia the other is that antibody the entry virus into the monocyte and the macrophage with the consequent liberation of the large amount of cytokine due to the release of cytokine vasoactive mediators leading to disseminated intervascular coagulation in either secretion shock and hemorrhage result so the pathogenesis of the dengue shock syndrome is a written question and a also important viper question now the laboratory diagnosis serology diagnosis can be made by the presence of igm and igg antibody antigen detection by the ns1 antigen blood examination and pcr ekhane amader ekta kotha mone rakhte hobe jodi kono patient dengue fever er symptom niye ek theke 3 diner modhe chole ashe tahole amra prothome ns1 antigen test korte debo ebong she jodi jor er এক থেকে তিন দিন পরে অর্থাৎ তিন দিনের পরবর্তীতে চলে আসে তিন থেকে সাত দিনের মধ্যে আসলে তাকে আমরা এই সেরোলজিক্যাল টেস্ট আইজিএম অথবা আইজিজি অ্যান্টিবডি টেস্ট করতে দেব আইজিএমটি মূলত প্রাইমারি অ্যান্টিবডি ডিটেক্টের জন্য এবং আইজিজি সেকেন্ডারি অ্যান্টিবডি ডিটেক্টের জন্য হয়ে থাকে এছাড়া পিসিআর এবং ব্লাড এক্সামিনেশন করতে পারে 
all about dengue virus thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel if you have any queries please write down it in the comment section thank you